Gloria, where did you put Mike's umbrella? I didn't put it anywhere. I didn't bring it back from the stadium. Oh. <laughs> I knew it couldn't have just disappeared. I promised Craig we'd have the incorporation papers back to his office by tonight. Why? I've been over everything with him. All you have to do is sign where I've signed and have Yvonne notarize it. Then drop him off on the way home. I'll have Yvonne drop them off. I'm going to try to make the game. We haven't filed our third quarter and we haven't approved the floor plans and the architect can't make models unless we approve the floor plans. I'm well aware of that. Hello. It'll be World War III before we get any homes built. Just a minute. It's for Abe. Have you even looked at the plans? I have set aside the Abel, that very time. telephone. How can you find time for a game with a team that's in sixth place? Life is short, Ruth. Come with me. The IRS patience is short, too. No, thank you. I hope that's not a personal call, Abe. Nobody has to see to it that we don't go bankrupt. Then I appreciate it. This is Abel Davis. We know where you live. We know where you work, too. Mixing races is against God's will. You get that white woman out of your house. Uh, that must be another Abel Davis. No problem. I'll drive today. Ruth can take a cab home. The last taxi I rode in was dirty. Well, goodness, Ruth, did you complain? To whom? The driver? Is he dirty in the taxi? You should have called the company. Yes? Mrs. Davis. Hello. Excuse me. Hello, Perrette. Uh, Mr. Sloan, Mrs. Sloan, this is Perrette Davis, my daughter-in-law. How do you do? How do you do? Fine, thank you. You're, you're Gloria's daughter-in-law? Oui, madame. But you're French. Oui, madame. Oh, how unusual. Unless, of course, you live in France. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't know Robert had married. Much less married a French woman. Uh, they met when he was overseas. Well, it just goes to show. Ah, I, I bring... Do you recipe you ask me to bring? Uh, uh, mercy. <laughs> it's, it's the recipe for the rhubarb pie you asked me to make. That's very good pie indeed. We. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to college. Now I've seen everything. I take it that means congratulations. You always give me a smart answer when you think I mean something else, when all I mean is what I say. Thank heaven for the GI Bill, am I right? Yeah, I'll second that. I is that a winning ring? Mm hmm? Well, you haven't been back home long enough to get hitched. Uh, I got married overseas. I thought you went to France. I did. So long, Charlie. See you around. Good luck. I didn't see any colored French. Neither did I. You don't mean... It means just what you think it means, Charlie. Now I've seen everything. What color are your kids gonna turn out? That's a serious question. I'm interested. You like this design? Seems fine to me. Seems too simple to me. No columns, no dentals, no Greek revival more detail, the higher the price. So what do you think? I think I'm going to be late for the game. There's a lot of money at stake here. Leading off for Detroit and playing second base, Hubert Axley. Well, hello. Hi. I was beginning to wonder if maybe you couldn't get away from the office. I'm the boss. Who's going to stop me? <laughs> Did you have any trouble getting on? Not a bit. I brought this back. Oh, thank you. Out, the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> You're flattering me, Mr. Schubert. Call me Neil, and I'm not, because it is the best thing. See, my dog was run over last Thursday. Oh, I'm so sorry. And I figured my streak of bad luck was never going to end. <laughs> but winning a date with you 
means my luck has finally changed. Good evening. Would you like a cocktail before dinner? I recommend ginger ale. Well, Mr. Lemo said sky's the limit. Let's order champagne. <laughs> You're a uh, best bottle, waiter. Did uh, Champ always chase cars? Never. And he wasn't chasing one this time. He was after the truck that was carrying our furniture. You were moving. No, thieves stole it. Took every stick of furniture we had. Just backed the truck right up to the door, broke in, loaded it up, and drove away. So, when Champ tried to follow... Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Are you all right? It's not a problem. It's not a problem. <laughs> Sipping champagne in the company of a beautiful woman, I assure you, this is not a problem. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, Champ took off after the furniture. And he would have been fine if our cat Lucky hadn't jumped in front oh, of the... Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, I'll get a towel. Oh. Why don't we ask the manager to give us a different waiter? I don't want to hurt his feelings. <sighs> the money doesn't matter to me, but the furniture had sentimental value. It was all Grandma had left when the bank foreclosed on her. Uh, well, maybe the police will find it. Well, the jail guard told me you have to catch thieves like that real soon after the heist, and by the time I got out, it was the next morning. The robbers locked you up? No, the police did. They were only doing their job. Why? See, I went downtown to report the theft, and apparently, I guess I look a lot like this guy on Mr. Hoover's Most Wanted list. So, naturally, they... Hey! Excuse me. No, I... Let me get another towel. It seems this Mad Dog Mayfield fellow had killed three people in a shootout in New York City. So when I went for my wallet, the police thought I was going for a gun, and a dozen of them jumped me. I just love Cherry's Jubilee, don't you? Neil, why don't we skip dessert? Are you kidding? This is the first real food I've had in days. See, four of us were released at the same time, and two of the others didn't have personal property, but the other one was with me when I signed for my wallet and house keys and belt. He must have told them others, because when I walked outside, they pushed me in the alley and stole my wallet and shoes. Neil, you've had a very difficult life. Weak. Now you know why this date means so much to me. <sighs> One moment, folks. I'll be right back. I need more matches. All he has to do to make it light is warm the brandy. This poor guy doesn't seem very experienced. Neil, would you excuse me while I go powder my nose? Not at all. Yeah. All right, Buster. This has gone far enough. Now that work. It's not a problem. Not a problem. 